What's up, everybody? Another BlizzCon episode here with StarCraft 2, which is now only called StarCraft 2, for those of you that don't know. No more Legacies of the Void in the title at all. Um, we got a couple of updates for StarCraft 2. Without further ado, I want to go ahead and start off with the co-op commander preview, um, which is Han and Horner, which is a very cool... Uh, I don't play StarCraft 2 that much, but I do follow it in the deep detail because um, I have... Uh, history with uh, StarCraft 2, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this preview. They were forced into uh, a marriage, Hello, by the way. Husband. For those of you that don't yeah. know. What do you want? He won a poker I game, a long time. and look what you've done. the winner had Started to marry her, war, which makes no sense, but that's what angry aliens, blown up cities without me. I am so disappointed. Rainer and I have this under control. I know you do not. You need my mercenaries. Come with me, and I will help you. I only could really use more numbers. I'm waiting. Ever the odd couple, Mira Han and Admiral Matt Horner combine the explosive power of reckless mercenaries with the military precision of the Dominion Air Fleet. Between the two of them, they'll achieve almost anything, except for marital harmony. No time for romance, husband. Enemies are on the way. Murahan brings a number of high-speed units to the table that deal a lot of explosive burst damage, though they are fragile. Fortunately, her salvage ability lets her and her ally recover a portion of a friendly unit's total cost after it's destroyed. Han can also strategically <clears throat> upgrade her forces, granting them powerful bonuses. Some of these have effects that will trigger when they die, so what's true. the point of being a mercenary if you can't be as ruthless as possible? Han remains close to the action by watching the battle unfold from any of her starports, mobile production structures that provide reinforcements. They can be upgraded to manufacture automated oh, wow. drone fighters for extra offensive power. Lastly, Han has two top bar abilities. Shit. The magnetic mines are best for protecting her base or setting up traps on the battlefield. If things get really messy, she can use space platform reallocation That's a bit to teleport too OP, no? station into her enemies, destroying it and everything in its radius. I guess our long, sordid history is good for something, Mira. As Mira's better half, Admiral Horner retains a force of elite units that he commands from his Dominion starport, which is available from the start of the mission. Once Horner's personnel are ready to go, they can be called down instantly to support your forces. Horner can also build bomber platforms, allowing him to command precision strikes against the enemy. These will deal bonus damage to structures, and they can be used often from his top bar. Precision strikes are particularly effective when paired with Horner's radar. And this is a real cool advanced radar system. Call in the fleet is Horner's second top bar ability. And it summons and it's the not AOE, it's goddamn precision strike stuff. To devastating effect. Opposites attract, and this has never been more true than with Han and Horner. Two commanders with vastly different styles that can still work together cool. perfectly. Give them some love, and they might just give you the greatest <laughs> victory in the galaxy. And so the ah, fun begins. Starcraft 2. Maybe for you. One of the longest lasting games I've ever played in. Alright, so next up, um, one of the most epic announcements for Starcraft 2 that we've all been actually pretty much waiting for, especially for players like me. Free to play, fam. Free to play, Time fam! To up, warp in those pylons, and get ready to jump into the spawning pool. We're setting up for the biggest game change ever by making free Starcraft 2 free to play. So if you guys are down for watching the Starcraft 2 gameplay, Hit us up in the comment section down below. If you missed the epic sci-fi storylines, or always wanted to take a dip into the competitive ladder, now is the best time to start. Let's hit the ground running and dive straight into the main three game modes. Ever envision yourself leading your own intergalactic Hell mission yeah. across space? Then begin your StarCraft II experience with the single Hell player yeah. campaign mode. It's a great way to start if you're new to real-time strategy games. Too. 
unravel the story of a sweeping sci-fi saga that transports you into a universe filled with an iconic cast of heroes whose personal struggles and unexpected challenges will drive your mission objectives. You can start your adventure for free with the Wings of Liberty campaign, where you'll play as Space Marshal Jim Rayner, who fights for freedom opposite the corrupted Terran Dominion. Versus is the heart and soul of real-time strategy games. The perfect place if you're looking for a way to test your skill against other players and showcase your strategic ability. Choose one of three Zerg distinct all races, day, every day. The fearless Terran, the ravenous Zerg, or I the love exalted Zerg. Protoss, and build your army in pursuit of victory. Play alone or with a group of friends against players around the world. Versus is a thrilling and rewarding gameplay mode that presents infinite possibilities. No two games will ever be the same, and your ability to improve as a player is virtually limitless. All Versus play modes are completely free to access, and you can unlock placement on the competitive ladder just by playing the game. Oh wow, this is, this is a if really you ever fun mode. To play a campaign style fun mission mode right alongside here. an ally, co-op commander missions are for you. Queue up solo or partner with a friend to play as one of StarCraft's iconic characters. Capitalize on the strengths of your chosen commander as you take full advantage of their unique abilities to devastate your enemies. Co-op will even allow you to turn the dials on difficulty as you master your commander. And this is also a great way to learn how to play uh, StarCraft as well. Play at your own pace, with your own style, and share this experience with a friend be it a seasoned veteran or an absolute beginner. All commanders five. are free to play to level five, and we've even unlocked Raynor, Kerrigan, and Artanis for uncapped progression. There is no better time for new players to pick up StarCraft II, or for veteran players to rejoin the fight. StarCraft II is free to play. Don't forget to check out our website for information or follow us around the web to stay plugged in on community and game updates. We couldn't be more excited for the next chapter of the StarCraft II experience. Our doors are open and all are welcome. Are you ready for StarCraft II? Play nice, play fair, and good luck. All right, so StarCraft 2 is now free to play. So what can we expect? StarCraft 2 is going free to play. Is a little bit explained here. So basically, they recognize that we might found our way uh, here after hearing the StarCraft 2 is going free to play. Uh, November 14th is to be exact. Curious what actually means. Um, they know free to play means a lot of things. So, I mean, you can play free to play, but then you have to also buy things on the side. Similar to what StarCraft is doing, but I mean, pretty much the whole game is free to play with StarCraft 2. So, starting September, no, no, November 14th, sorry, it will have free access to the original Wings of Liberty single player campaign and every co op commander. And we'll be able to unlock access to StarCraft II's competitive multiplayer content for free. Here's a specific rundown. So the original Wings of Liberty campaign experience, the original epic campaign that kicked off the StarCraft II saga. If you picked up Wings of Liberty previously but haven't come back to StarCraft II in a while, got good news for us as well. If you already own Wings of Liberty, you'll receive the second installment for StarCraft II's campaign, the Zerg Focus Heart of the Swarm for free. So that is definitely a positive for me and players like me. You'll also be able to access ranked multiplayer ladder to compete with other players to come part of the best, complete all the multiplayer units of the Wings of Liberty, Heart of Swarm, and Legacy of the Void. All you have to do is unlock it per uh, permanently is earn 10 first wins of the day and unranked or versus AI play our way to pre uh, preserve the quality of the integrity of the ranked experience. Uh, current and upcoming co-op commanders are available uh, free to level 5 and level restrictions for weekly mutations has been removed. So you'll be able to t uh, tackle these extra challenges and missions with your friends right away. So basically, it's free to play. So if you play through Wings of Liberty and want to see how the rest of the epic single player saga unfolds, all the other single player campaigns, Heart of the Storm, Legacy of the Void, and Nova Covert Ops, will be available to purchase individually for $15 or as a bundle of $40. So definitely, if I were you, I would definitely pick up the bundle. So the future of StarCraft II of 2018. Uh, so again, it's free to play. There's going to be some new co-op content, um, multiplayer design changes. So if you're interested in reading all of this, go ahead and pause the video. Um, Terran, Zerg, so much more. War Chest 2 is also going to be coming out pretty soon as well. So stay tuned for that. And again, free to play, new co-op content, multiplayer design changes, and another War Chest. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for more.